Hi, my name is Jacqueline. I work at Tyvo Utility, and in this video, I'll show you how to use our scanner to choose options with unusual volume activity. To do this, first let's start by clicking on Strategy and selecting Make It Call and running a quick search. This is the default search of all the call options that we can buy from. Now let's edit our filters some more. Going back to strategy, we have the our naked call. We want to leave our quantity about 10. We want to also keep this risk reward sorting. And instead of top 20, let's do top 200. Now let's go to the stock filter. It shows us the whole USA, but we can, again, edit it down. We can do top 200 by options volume, or we can even customize it further, but let's leave it all USA. As long as we're buying calls, we're interested in stocks with bullish price trend, so let's leave that default filter. Moving on to volatility filter. Since we're buying, we're not really sure what's the best choice. So let's just leave any behavior as well. Uh, the cheapness of the option is defined by implied volatility index, which is again by default on cheap, which is great for us. And we can uh, see that here we can, um, it depends on what we want it relatively cheap to be. Basically, what do we compare it to, to be deemed as cheap? So it can be percent of, of historical volatility, it can be absolute um, number, or it can be a one-year range. So let's stick with one-year range. And we can also add filter. So we'll add a price filter because we don't want to buy stocks that are less than $5. And... Let's go to options now. Let's do any expiration. And we want to leave it at the money by default. And we want to add implied volatility filter as well as volume percent of open interest filter. So we want, don't want to be our options to be too volatile. So we want it to be less than 40. And we want our volume percent of options be minimum of 100. This means that we are looking for options whose volume during the trading day exceeds the total open interest of the option. And now let's see what the options that satisfy these conditions look like. Okay, so here's the list of options that Scanner suggests us to trade where option volume exceeds the total open interest for the option. And let's open the first one have a look. So this is this volume is not that much even though it's two times more. Let's look for something else. Mm. Let's look at Amazon. Oh, so look, the open interest is 1600 and the volume is 2200 So that's a really big jump. It's almost, I guess, 1.5. Or it's a 30% jump, basically. Um, so we'll get back to it later. Let's just copy it. To our pocket. Let's look for something else. Let's look at this one. Mm, still not that much. Hmm. I like this name. Let's look at another one. Oh, same. Look at this one. Yep, 
yeah, they're all kind of, the volume is not that significant, so to speak, even though the percentage change is big. Maybe it's time to look at something else. Let's see. MDX. Okay, so I'm not sure if we can, I guess we can count this. This is as well, it's 50% more. The open interest uh, is 50% less actually than this volume. So the volatility is quite small. So let's go back and copy it to pocket. Oh wow, this is quite incredible. So the open interest is 100 while volume is 10 times more, 10 times. So volatility is also quite low, it's 13%. So let's definitely copy this to our pocket. And now we go to our pocket, we have three interesting options here. So let's go here. For example, the one that has the most change where volume is here was zero, open interest is 146. And at the end it was 1100. So you can see that this, these are spread details. We can see stock price here. We can see capital required. Uh, we can see the um, two standard risks, which is basically what we pay for option. That's our maximum risk. Over here, the maximum that we can lose. That is our price, 80 cents, multiplied by 10 contracts, multiplied by 100 years, which makes 800 in total. But if our price increases by two standard deviations, we would, our profit would change by 7,948, which is great. Um, we can also check here um, a quick profit loss scenario. So if the price goes down, the maximum we can lose is 800, which is this, our risk. But if the price goes up, uh, we can make more money which is great for us again and I think this option is pretty great candidate if you're looking for unusual option volume the volume changes it's 10 times more than open interest it's relatively cheap and it has small implied volatility is 13 percent and I think this is it for an example of how can we choose them option by the volume. Uh, thank you for watching. Remember, you can always reach us at support at if you have any questions. And thanks for watching.